Today, we're making a classic French recipe, chicken chasseur. In this recipe, chicken is simmered with mushrooms and onions in a rich tomato sauce. We make it taste even better by adding thyme and bay leaves, and in the end, it just comes out absolutely amazing. So succulent, so delicious, and very French. I'm Julia from vicolinka.com. Before I move on with the recipes, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want recipes that work. Traditionally, French recipes are associated with a long ingredient list and really difficult technique. This is not one of those recipes. I made it even simpler by using chicken breasts instead of chicken parts, so it doesn't need hours to simmer in the oven to deliver the results that we're looking for. Add salt and pepper to the chicken breasts, making sure to turn them over to get all sides. In a large pan, heat up oil and a pat of butter, then add the chicken breast to brown. So while the chicken is browning, I'm gonna cut my shallot. You can use an onion in it, but I like using shallot because it has milder taste and it cooks so much faster. So once the chicken is golden on one side, we're gonna flip and brown on the other side. So once your chicken is brown on both sides, take it off the heat and remove it to a plate. The chicken will not be done all the way through. Don't, don't worry about it. In fact, it shouldn't be done. Okay, so we're done here. Next, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna reduce the heat first of all. And I'm gonna add my sliced shallots. I'm gonna add my mushrooms. If you have bigger mushrooms, cut them in half or slice them, it's up to you, but these are small and I really quite like having them that size. Then I'm gonna add sliced garlic and I'm gonna brown all of it for about five minutes. When the mushrooms and shallots are ready, pour in white wine and deglaze the pan to get every ounce of flavor. So once we deglaze the pan with white wine, we need to let it reduce for about five minutes. We don't want it to be too whiny. We want the volume to go down by a half. So that will probably take about five to seven minutes depending on your heat and how wide your pan is. This chicken is simmered in rich tomato sauce and this is the time where the tomatoes actually come in. So we're using canned tomatoes, chopped. And to make the sauce really rich, we're also adding a little bit of tomato paste. Stir that up. Let it combine. Then add chicken stock. And we will add two bay leaves and fresh thyme. If you don't have fresh thyme, you can add dry thyme, it's fine. So I'm just gonna take the leaves off the stalks. Oh, it smells so, so good already. <laughs> I love using fresh herbs. They're really not expensive, but they add so much flavor. It's absolutely amazing. To me, it's worth it. So we're just waiting for the liquid to come to a boil. And once it does, we're gonna take the chicken that we browned earlier, and we're gonna put it in the sauce to simmer. So once we added the chicken breast, also don't forget to add the liquid that collects at the bottom of the plate, because that's where a lot of flavor comes from. Okay. At this point, we're going to let this simmer. We're gonna cover our chicken with the lid and we're gonna let it simmer for 20 minutes. So our chicken's been simmering for 20 minutes. We're gonna uncover it now. You can see that the tomatoes started to break down and kind of form a sauce, but it's still a little bit watery. So what we're gonna do now, we will cook for 10 minutes longer uncovered. All right, so our chicken has been simmering for 10 minutes uncovered and I think that the sauce is now ready. It is absolutely beautiful and it smells so good here. All those herbs, thyme and bay leaves just makes it for such an amazing 
smell. All right, I'm gonna have a little taste and see if the sauce needs any salt. No, absolutely does not. It is perfect. Oh, it's so delicious. So if you are wondering what to serve this with, I would absolutely recommend serving this chicken chester over mashed potatoes. Oh, you just imagine that sauce to be poured all over the potatoes. It's like a gravy. If you don't like potatoes, you can obviously do rice or any side of vegetables. It's up to you. But that sauce needs something like um, maybe crusty bread on the side. So what I like doing right before I serve, I just like to add a little bit of fresh parsley to the sauce. It adds a little bit of nice color and obviously really good flavor. Just a little bit of garnish will make your dish look like it came from a restaurant. So why not do that? Very easy, low effort and looks beautiful.